quite fascinating. Um, I always love new material. Now, now it's uh, August 2021, and uh, this I believe to be from the Kolwezi mine in the Katanga, of course, the copper mines of the Congo, uh, Katanga Copper Crescent. And what we have here is a solid matrix of Krasikala. And this my uh, Krasikala is pretty stable. Um, you'll see it makes stalagmites, stalactites on some points, and uh, on cross sections you'll see a little bit of patterning. Also, you have a darker variety. I wonder if that's Shatukat or uh, 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 Krasikala as well, just a different color of the Krasikala. So the the point of display I quite enjoy is this, where you have these. These almost malachite floaters uh, trapped inside this uh, 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 Krasikala matrix. We go around like that. So first of all, that is what I'd prefer, that point of display. But then uh, you'll see also a little beige crystal sitting around there. Those would be tiny sprays of, uh, it appears to be barite at this stage. I haven't looked under magnification as, as, as yet. Then if we display it flat, there's a different color green to the malachite there, so maybe two different kinds of malachite, or even perhaps some called wearsite. We can display it like that, like a, a rectangular ship formation, going around like that. Or we could display it this way around, going across like this. Definitely, you see those little beige crystals, those would be little uh, barites, which is also quite unusual. So here we are, look at the different colors of the blue, a very light powder blue intermixed with a little slightly darker blue. All the way from uh, the copper mines of the Katanga, Katanga Copper Crescent, about 30, 350 kilometers of copper mining. Now how much that is in miles, I think about 150 miles, 175 miles around about there.